What's going on, everybody? So as we all know, Ezekiel Elliott probably is going to be suspended for the first uh, maybe two games of the regular season, depending on what the league decides to do. Obviously, we know that he hasn't been charged with anything formally, but the guy's been involved with a whole lot of BS, right? So we're just going to say, regardless of if he's suspended or not, when he comes back, his cards are going to still be pretty good throughout the year because he, he should ball out. The dude is a special talent. I just hope and pray. Well, I don't hope and pray for me. I, I, look, listen, I'm not hoping to pray for this guy. What I'm saying is, because I, I don't know him like that. He's not my mans. I got to save it for my mans in them. You know what I'm saying? DMX style. What I'm saying is, he needs to get focused and somebody around him needs to let him know, bro, let's stay out of trouble because you have a chance to be greater than Emmitt Smith in Dallas Cowboys history and possibly be one of the greatest running backs ever. Uh, watching him play in the NFL, he completely tore it up. But uh, looking at his card right now, he has this Kim Pound the Rock, right? And I was trying to figure out what, like the T-O-R, isn't that throw on the run? Um, a lot of these things with these tears don't make sense. I don't, I don't know exactly what they're doing. Maybe it's something along the lines of, um, you know, they're trying to create a different type of system to, uh, you know, formulate different chems as far as the quarterback, running back, and, um, you know, like, like more of like a, it's more double for just those two things because you're gonna probably have like a Cam Newton, uh, a Deshaun Watson, somebody that needs throw on the run, uh, maybe they'll bring the read option back to be heavy. You know what I'm saying? But just the, I, I'm going based on the fact that now it's three tiers, right? Used to be two tiers. Now it's three tiers for the most part with these things. I'm just trying to understand what they're trying. Because they said that they were going to minimize chems. You know, based on the blogs that I've read, they're going to minimize it, make it more simplified. But it seems like it's getting harder to do with what they're adding into it. Now, Zeke's card to start the year, as far as 87 speed with an 87 Excel, this card is probably one of the sickest cards that's going to be released. Pretty sure it's going to be very expensive. I'm going to go ahead and say, you know, probably you know, um, amongst the other cards that are going to be released, probably one of the higher cards. Plus his catching stats. When, when a running back has over 70 catch in Madden, they're pretty good. Regardless of, uh, you know, I tell you that the stats don't matter, stuff like that. They are pretty good with the stats of 70 and above when it comes to receiving. So this card right here is pretty much, a, it's a win-win. I don't really care about the 76 truck because what I've been hearing about is that it's gonna be a lot more uh, speedy running back type year, elusiveness, juke moves the back, spin moves the back. So I, I'm very, very excited to see how that really works out because they took away all those juice from 16. And, and to be honest, that's what made 16 tolerable with all the crap that they were doing as far as the aggressive catch and all those other type of things. So now that I'm hearing that it's coming back, okay, that's fine. So this card will probably be one of the sickest cards available. So he might be on my team to start the year, even though I got the Leonard Fournette that's uh, being transferred over uh, for the rookie premieres. If you don't know how to transfer your cards from 17 to 18, um, I have videos here on YouTube um, that's, that'll show you how to do it step by step. I can definitely uh, link you that video if you wanted to know how to do that. But um, I like this card. And if the running game is what it's going, like what they say it's going to be, and the running game is back like they're saying, this might be a card that I would recommend. Because the running game, giving you back spin moves and you know elusiveness and all those jukes and stuff like that, that's gonna make Madden 18 very, very exciting if what I'm hearing is true. Let me know your thoughts and let me know what you're thinking. Leave it in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. One love.